there, my girl up there. It's her birthday. Where's she at? Where's she at? Right there. And you, her birthday present is coming to see you today. The girls are in love. So now I'm picking up my check after the show. Yeah. Anyway. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. See, now, sweetheart. As you can see, there are a bunch of Backstreet Boys fans here. You all sold. Stop touching yeah, them. Stop touching them. You all have sold over 65 million records. You are stepping out on your own debut. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. It's a lot more rock influence, bad boy. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people might wonder what you know why I went that route, but I've always been a big fan of rock music and. Um, I think it's mainly because, you know, I used to play in a garage band when I was a little younger. I, I played drums pretty much my whole entire life uh, since I was 12. And, uh, you know, even, I actually played with my bass player, who I brought back to As play with kid? me. Yes, oh, when I was 12. I, it was like a side thing that I did for, from the Backstreet Boys. Oh, that's great. And I did that for like three years. But um, I've always liked rock music because I like the live elements of, you know, live music, uh, being able to just kind of go wild on stage. Mm -hmm. Stop you know? staring at him. You were staring at him. I've never seen you do it. I don't know how far up it goes. It's permanent, sweetie. <laughs> okay, okay Mrs. Unbelievable. Yeah. Why don't you show us all your tattoos? No. Yeah. Listen, Nick, people love to gossip about you. First, there's <laughs> the whole Britney thing. Then people are saying that, you know, you were in London with Prince William partying, mm -hmm. and now he's your best buddy, so... You want to clear anything Which up part about? Which true, basically. <laughs> well, the Britney thing's not true. You know, I'm, I'm a single man. I like, you know. Uh, but I did, actually, I ran into Prince Williams. I did, you know, and he... Who got a, more attention in London? You Well, it was Prince crazy because I, I was... We went in this club, and he, you know, like, I was already there, and he rolled in with a bunch of his, like, you know, business tie type mm -hmm. of people, you know, with the earpieces and stuff. <laughs> and I... <laughs> And I, and I was sitting there, and he just had a bunch of guys, and you know, I had I had a bunch of girls around me and stuff. Mm. So Does I think that's the reason why he came over to me. <laughs> <laughs> did he say anything about being king? Did he ever say, you know, like I'm looking forward well, it was, to it? Or it was I, crazy I because it? he said, <laughs> he, I hear him laughing in the back. No, he said basically, he's like, uh, you know, would you like to dance and stuff? And I'm like, uh, he asked you to dance. No, he did. He asked. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I'm uh -huh. like, I'm like, you know, dude, I don't roll that way, dog. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, he has to dance, and you know, I, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to get me on the floor to get some of the girls to come out and dance with him. Oh, <laughs> wow, he's using you uh, to get the girls out. I, I think I don't know, you know. But I think the Kingdom of England would be enough to get a girl. <laughs> he's got it going, you know. He don't need me. But, Not when you know. you're opposite him. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, sweetheart. We love you, but you all don't go away because when we get back, Nick's gonna sing for us. Do I have to cry for you from his debut solo album, Now or Never? Let's hear it for Nick Carter.
Never Woman Alive. Our thanks to Nick Carver. Now our number is in stores now. Go get it. We'll be right back. Some styles don't last 20 minutes. Peace, I'm going to hit y'all with one of these turkey wraps. Something for the holiday season. Can you dig it? I know y'all like that uh, cranberry.